Today we're talking about open floor plans, large and small, and what we can do to make them comfortable and cohesive. So let's get started. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. In 2020 and into 2021, there were a rash of obituaries written for the open space floor plan. Probably due to the fact that people had to work and study from home without a lot of space and privacy. We're still seeing a few predictions of the demise of the open floor plan, but it doesn't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. So whether you have an open floor plan or you want one, we're going to talk about how to play up the advantages and look at some solutions to the challenges. Space planning can be challenging whether you have a large open plan or a small one. Large open plans can feel cold and cavernous, while small ones can appear larger, but not if they're cluttered with too many items. Acoustics can be an issue, especially in large spaces with high ceilings. And because of lack of walls, storage might be limited. It's interesting that some of the following solutions are the same ones as for the small spaces we talked about last week. That's because even though open plans look and feel more spacious because there are no walls and no obstruction of the line of sight, they're still somewhat constrained by circulation space. In general, open plans consist of a kitchen, living room, dining room, and circulation space. To delineate these spaces, it's helpful to think about the room's envelope of ceilings, floors, and walls. Ceiling treatments can help visually delineate spaces as can a large statement chandelier or cluster of pendants over the dining table or a row of pendants over a kitchen island. When using these light fixtures in combination, let the chandelier or pendant group be your star and use your coordinating pendants as supporting actors. Area roads are a great way to define spaces in an open layout. Think about arranging your living room furniture on one to create a cozy conversation area and another to anchor your dining space. In a large open space, it should be easy to float groups of furniture on rugs in the living space and the dining space. Smaller or narrower spaces might find this more of a challenge, so it may be necessary to have some furniture, usually the sofa, against the wall, and in these cases, it might be better to use the rug in the living room only to avoid a cluttered look and not create a trip hazard in the circulation space between the two areas. Layering lighting is key in an open plan, helping to delineate the spaces. In addition to any general overhead lighting and your decorative chandelier or pendants, think about cabinet lighting in the kitchen, wall lights around the perimeter of the open space, accent lights to highlight architectural features or artwork, and table and floor lamps in the living area. This will help guide your eye around the room and make the space feel cohesive. Continuity is key in designing an open plan space. A simple color and material palette will help create visual flow and a cohesive look. Use the same flooring and wall color throughout the space, highlighting architectural features and trim with variations of the main color. Or, if your open plan is small, paint everything the same color for a more expansive look. Repeat your chosen metal finishes, combining two or even three if your space is large, along with repeating natural textures, patterns, and accent colors to keep the eye moving around the space. Adding softness makes the space feel warm and inviting, and it also helps with acoustical comfort by absorbing sound and keeping it from bouncing around the space. Rugs can help with acoustics as they help delineate your zones. Those close to the floor color will give a small space a more subtle and spacious look, while larger spaces can handle a little more contrast. Drapery and other window treatments close to the wall color also help keep the visual continuity while providing subtle contrast and some acoustical benefits. Upholstered furniture pieces are also a great way to add comfort and absorb sound. Using upholstered pieces that double as storage is a great way to solve the storage challenge. Add some throw blankets, pillows, and leafy plants for texture, color, and some added acoustical benefits, and you'll have an open plan that will feel open and airy while being comfortable and cozy at the same time. For more interior design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.